In today's video, I have a Timu haul for you guys, and we're also going to be putting some of the products that I've received from Timu to work. I'm going to be playing with some of the pigments, molds, stickers, I even got some much needed tools, and yeah, let's get started. So because today's video is more about trying the stuff we're going to be using, I thought I'd keep our project simple, but I promise it's highly effective. We're going to be making some pendants and some resin hearts to later turn into keychains. By the way, if you guys want to see my Timu haul unboxing of the stuff that I got sent, be sure to keep watching to the end. I've gone ahead and also timestamped the video just in case you guys want to watch the unboxing first and then come back to the crafting portion of the video. Anyways, first things first, let's mix the pigments with the resin. So I've gone ahead and chosen a few of the colors and I'm going to only be putting in three drops of the pigments in so we can see how pigmented these are. As for the white, I'll be using it to make the colors more pastel as you guys will see for the green in a moment and for the other colors as well a little bit later in the video. One thing I liked about these pigments is that they were actually really easy to mix in the resin. It didn't take much. The white did take a bit more mixing, but that's because it's way more pigmented. It's a Mirandi pigment and it's way more opaque. As you guys will see, we got some really pretty colors and I'm loving the transparency of the colors we got. Be sure to comment down below if you prefer transparent colors or opaque colors. Okay, so now that our colors are mixed, it's time to fill the molds. Now I'm not going to fill them all the way, I'm going to leave a little space so I can later add a small amount of clear resin and you guys will see why later. But first, while I do this, let's talk about Timu. So someone from the Timu team reached out to me and asked if they could send me some of their stuff to share with you guys. And of course I accepted because for those of you who are watching and do resin art, you know that resin supplies can get pretty expensive. And the great thing about Timu is they have a lot of resin supplies that are cheap in price. They have molds, glitters, pigments, stickers, tools. I think I've even seen resin on there too. And it's all really cheap. Most of the things I'm using in this video you can buy elsewhere but tend to be more expensive, sometimes even double the price. Funny thing is, it's for the exact same item. They also do free fast track shipping which is a great bonus. I've ordered resin supplies from other sites and they take months to get to the door but with Timu my package arrived in less than two weeks. Be sure to check out the description box down below for direct links to the products that I'm using in this video and the direct link to download their app for free. By downloading their app you guys can save even more on your purchases and be sure to use the code that's popping on screen now to get a special discount if you're a first time user. Okay, so it's now the next day and our resin has cured so it's time to choose our stickers to put on our pieces. Of all the items I got from Timu, the stickers were the ones whose quality I didn't have any hope for, but as I went through them I was very impressed. The quality of the stickers are actually pretty amazing and the print of the designs are crisp. As you guys can see, some of the sticker designs are absolutely beautiful and you get a lot in each pack. It was really hard to choose which stickers I wanted on my pieces because there were so many, but I really like how you get doubles. That way I'll be able to make more than one piece with the same design. If you guys have been watching my channel for a little while now, you guys already know I have this heart mold. I actually have a few. I think this is my fourth one. And the reason why I like this mold so much is because there's nine heart cavities to pour resin into, which is great when I'm doing a project like this where I'm experimenting with pigments or just any other product. And that way it's so much easier to do a side by side comparison with the pieces. Once I had finally chosen the stickers I wanted to use, I took the backings off with a pair of tweezers and stuck them down on my resin pieces. To get the stickers to the right size and shape, I first started cutting them with scissors, but quickly decided to stop because I wasn't cutting the stickers right. I'm not the greatest freehand cutter. <laughs> so before I ended up cutting too much off, I just stuck the stickers to the resin and then with an exacto knife, I cut off the excess. Now there isn't much footage of me cutting the stickers with the knife because I wanted to fully concentrate on it so I wouldn't end up cutting my mold or cutting off too much of the sticker. But as you guys will see, the results are beautiful in the end. One thing I'd recommend when putting stickers on resin is to start on one side and work your way along pushing the sticker down onto the resin. That way you lessen the chance of getting little air bubbles trapped between the sticker and the resin. Then once your sticker is down, you should gently skim the edges of the sticker with your nail to make sure they're fully stuck down to avoid the chance of the sticker detaching from the resin. Trust me, it's super annoying when that happens and I've had it happen a couple of times and it's ruined some of my pieces.
Then I mix up another batch of resin and fill the molds to the top. I fill them just enough to give the pieces a slight dome and left them to cure overnight. Ideally, I would have done this method the other way around where I start off with a clear layer of resin first, put in the stickers, and then put the colored resin layer on top. But since these stickers were pretty big, I decided to work backwards. This actually is my first time making resin pieces this way, and I'm loving that it's so much easier to avoid getting air bubbles stuck between the stickers and the resin. Another good thing about this method is that it's easier to control the look and design you want since you can see straight away how the pieces are going to turn out. It's especially great for someone who's first starting out with resin. But I also do think that it's a slight downside as there's no element of surprise or anticipation of whether the piece is going to turn out great. I personally like the element of surprise when it comes time to demold. I think it's one of the things that makes doing resin a lot of fun. But when the pieces do turn out crappy, I'm so disappointed. So it's a bit of a bind. <laughs> Twenty-four hours later, my pieces were ready to be demolded and I love, love, love how they've turned out. The colors are so pretty and adding that little bit of glitter gave the transparent pieces an extra touch. I'm finding it super funny though how I match that pastel pink color to the color of my gloves pretty well. I promise, I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> As for my favorite pieces, I think I have to choose the green heart with the pink flowers and the transparent blue heart with the white lily sticker. As you guys can see, this method to make resin pieces is super easy, super simple, and highly effective. It's a great method for any beginner. As for the Timu products I've used in this video, the quality of the stuff is actually really great, and I was very impressed with the quality of the stickers. Overall, I would recommend ordering resin supplies from Timu. The prices are super cheap, and if you're starting out with resin or just want to grow your resin supplies, Timu is a great place to get them. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have ordered from Timu and what your experience was like. What did you think of the quality of the items? Also let me know which piece I've made is your favorite and be sure to keep on watching so you guys can see the Timu haul unboxing. As always guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you've learned something. If you did, please smash that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one.